Michael is looking at the above patterns and wonders if he could find A, the number of coins in the 50th pattern, and the second is the total number of coins he would need up to the 50th pattern. So now this is one way of learning. Whenever you see a pattern, try to frame your own question and try to answer it. So you can pause this video and try to do this yourself if you can. So hopefully you've done it. So what I can what can we see here? Okay, so in the first pattern you got two coins or two beads, okay, whatever you call it. I'm calling this coins, or you can call them beads. So this is the first pattern you got two beads. In the second pattern you got two plus three, which is five beads. Again, you're adding three beads, that is 5 plus 3 is 8, then 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 3 is 14. So each step you're adding three more beads. So the question is if you continue, and if you want to go up to the 50th pattern, how many beads would be here? The number of beads here. And the second question is if you keep adding all up to, if you if you make up to the 50th pattern, what's the total number of beads or coins that you need? So let, let us, now this is called an arithmetic sequence. So not I'll, so this is 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. So let's look at this sequence. The name is not that important. So I want you to think how can you write this, all these numbers in terms of 2? I want to write 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14 in terms of 2 with the starting number. So say 2 is 2, 2 is 2. How can you write 5 in terms of 2? Well, that is 2 plus 3. How can you write 8 in terms of 2? Well, that is 2 plus 6. 11 is 2 plus 9 and 14 is 2 plus 12. So as you look deeper, you start looking, seeing things. Now, look at these numbers, 3, 6, 9, and 12. What are they? Something should jump out at you. Well, they are multiples of 3. So I'm going to write this as, again, going deeper, I can say, well, this is 2 plus 3 times 1. This dot means times. This 6, the same thing can be written as 2 plus 3 times 2. This is 2 plus 3 times 3. And this is 2 plus 3 times 4. Okay, now can you see anything deeper now? So let's define this as, say, the first term. So let me say, this is the, say, let me call this T1. This is your first term. This is your second term, which is T2. This is your third term, 3. This is 4. And this is the fifth term in the sequence. Now our challenge is to write, if you continue here, what will be in the 50th term? Okay, so this is our challenge. So can we figure that out? Well, what's the relation between, say, this number and this number? Is there a relation between these two numbers? So one thing that you can say is uh, all these numbers can be written in terms of 2 and 3. 2 is the starting number, and 3 is, is how much it is increasing by. So each time you're increasing 3 beads or 3 coins. So I can say all of these numbers can be written in terms of 2 and 3. Now I'm looking at this number, t, the second term in 1, 3 and 2, 4 and 3. I think you can now figure it out yourself, three, 5 and 4. So if you continue in the same pattern, what would be there in the 50th term? Well, that has to be, you can pause this video and try to answer, the, answer it yourself, and that's how you learn. So first answer it. Okay, well, you have you should have answered it. So this will be 2 plus 3 times what? We want to write the 50th term. It should be 2 times 2 plus 3 times 49. Okay, so 
let's use a calculator. So it'll be 2 plus 3 times 49, which is 149. So in the 50th pattern, you'll have 149. And so let's go build backwards. So this will be 2 plus how much? 2 plus 147. And 147 is 3 times 49. So let me show you that. 3 times 49 will give you 147. Okay, so that's the first thing done. So let's answer the second question. The second question is to find the total, if you are building up to the 50th pattern, how much would you need? So let me cancel this. Let me delete this. Again, you can pause this video and try to figure it out yourself. Okay, so let me write again T1. Your first term is 2. Your second term is uh, phi. Your T3 is T3 is 8. T4 is 11. So let's let me go up to T4. T4 is 11. Suppose if you want to find our next challenge is suppose and say let's go up to T5. T5 is 14. I want to add the next challenge is to find S. Say S1. S1 means you need you, you got only one pattern. So you, S1 means you have only you need only two coins. S2 means you're going up to the second pattern. That means you want to go 2 plus 5, which is 7. Okay, now this is called a sequence. And if you go S3, you are going up to the third sequence. So you're building till yeah. So you need 2 plus 5 plus 8, which is how much? 15. And say S4 would be 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11, which is how much? So which is 15 plus 11, which is 26. Okay, now let's do S5 in a different way. Okay, so S5, okay, so let me delete this. I don't want this now. Let's do S5 in a smarter way. Okay, so S5 is, we know is 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14. So can we do S5? I'm going to write S5 again in the reverse order. So I can go, this is 14 plus 11 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2. You're right, adding S5 in two different ways. So if you add this two, so S5 plus S5 is, so let me write like this. So this is S5 plus S5 is equal to you're adding also this side. So this is how much? 2 plus 14 is 16. 11 plus 5 is 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. 11 plus 5 is 16. And 14 plus 2 is also 16. So you've got how many lots of 16? Okay, well, this is S5 plus S5 is 2 times S5. And this is how many lots of 16? Well, you've got 5 lots of 16. So this is 5 lots of 16. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. If you divide this side by 2, you can divide this side by 2. So you can cancel this. So your S5, this implies your S5, that is the total number of coins required up to the fifth sequence, would be, this is 5 times 16 is 80 divided by 2, which is 40. And it does make sense. If you add them, that will be 40. So using the same logic, again, you can pause this video and try to do, if you want to go up to the 50th pattern, what is that you're going to do? Okay, so again, you can pause this video and try to find up to the 50th pattern. Okay, so hopefully you've done it. So I'm using the same approach. So let me only go up to. So this is increasing by three, isn't it? So 
we saw that the 50th pattern would have how many how many coins the 50th pattern would have we are going up to the 50th pattern now so the 50th pattern we know has got 149 okay so so let me so it is 2 the formula yes here it is 2 plus 3 times 49 is 149 so if you want to if you go up to the 50th pattern in the 50th pattern you have 149 coins one before that you will have how many so minus three because this is increasing by three so this is 146 and this would be 143 dot 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 plus so again i can write s50 is writing this in the reverse order this would be 149 plus 146 plus 143 plus dot 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 and in the reverse order will be 8 plus 5 plus 2 so let's add them so this would be you're adding this side and you're also adding this side so s5 plus s5 is 2 times s sorry s50 s50 plus s50 is 2 times s50 is equal to this is how much this is 151 this would also be 151 this would be 151 dot 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 plus 143 plus 8 is 151 146 plus 5 is 151 and 151 so this is 2 times s50 is equal to you got how many lots of 151 well there are 50 lots of 151 you have 50 lots of 151 and now I'm going to divide both side by 2 if you divide this side by 2 you can divide this side by 2 so 2 and 2 gets cancelled so your s50 is 50 times 51 divided by 2. So let's cal get the calculator out. So this is 50 times 51 divided by 2 is 1275. Oh, 50 times 151. Sorry, I made a mistake here, not 51. I was wondering it cannot be this small. So this is 50 times 151 divided by 2. So you need 3,000, 3,775 beads or coins. So the final answer would be 3,775 coins.